Coffee is the most popular beverage in the world with more than 400 billion cups consumed yearly. As a matter of fact, almost 65% of Americans drink a cup of coffee every single day. However, this once believed to be a healthy drink has started losing its popularity due to the severe side effects that it causes, such as anxiety, stress, nervousness and jittery. The biggest problem happens when you drink a cup of coffee in the afternoon since it can stay in your body for up to 10 hours, which can ruin your sleep. But is there any alternative available? Maybe one that is not addictive and it doesn't cause any side effects? Well, finally, there is. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Greg Gustinkar and I'm the founder of Your Inception. If biohacking, nootropics, optimizing brain performance interests you, then subscribe below and join our amazing community. Let me present to you Beyond Caffeine, a caffeine-free energy booster that boosts your mental performance, it doesn't cause stress or anxiety, and you can actually drink it in the afternoon. Now, I've been drinking Beyond Caffeine for the past month and in this video, we're going to talk about its benefits, my experience, its taste and finally, I'm going to reveal whether this is an actual coffee alternative. So what exactly is Beyond Caffeine? Now, this is a powder drink that contains adaptogen herbs, medicinal mushrooms and a few nootropics to boost your mental performance, energy and improve your well-being. It was designed as an afternoon booster, so basically you can still drink your morning cup of coffee if you want, but then in afternoon, when you really shouldn't drink coffee anymore, you drink a cup of Beyond Caffeine instead. To prepare Beyond Caffeine, you just open the packet, put it into a glass and mix it with some warm water or your chosen milk. We'll talk about its taste soon, but let's first check my experience and the benefits of Beyond Caffeine. By the way guys, how does coffee work on you? Do you suffer from any side effects? Let me know in the comment section below. Okay, so I'm about to try Beyond Caffeine for the first time. I'm gonna try the peanut brittle, which sounds pretty uh, delicious actually. Um, so yeah, I've just prepared uh, the drink already here. Um, it's still a bit hot, but yeah, let me try it out and see how it tastes. The smell itself is, yeah, it's pretty good. A little bit artificial, but not too bad. All right, okay. <laughs> this is much better actually than I expected. Um, this one is, yeah, it's gluten-free, dairy-free, no added sugar, vegan and low in calories. Um, yeah, honestly, I mean, um, this is much better uh, than I ever thought possible actually, uh, because mushrooms and uh, adaptogen herbs usually don't taste that well, but this is actually quite good. It is a bit sweet though. Uh, too sweet for my taste. This this is what I noticed right away. Uh, I prepared this in water. Um, I guess if you prepare it in, in like plant-based milk, um, yeah, I guess it's gonna have the same taste. Uh, maybe the structure will be a bit better because it's right now it's kind of a, uh, looks a bit, um, yeah, not that thick, I would say, N not as creamy as coffee, but otherwise, yeah, cool. So I'm going to drink it now um, and I'm going to keep on drinking this for a while and then uh, let's see uh, if I like this drink or not. Now, I've been drinking Beyond Caffeine daily for more than a month now and I have to tell you that I instantly fell in love with this product. Here is why. Firstly, it doesn't cause any adverse side effects like coffee does. Now, even if you think coffee has no negative side effects on you, caffeine consumption in the afternoon negatively impacts your sleep which can lead to a myriad of health issues. Now, I've been tracking my sleep with the Aura Sleep Tracker. By the way, you can learn more about Aura up here. And every single time I drank a cup of coffee after 1 p.m., my sleep quality was worse, even if I didn't feel that right away. However, with Beyond Caffeine, this is not a problem anymore. The second thing I love about Beyond Caffeine is its formulation. It contains some of the most potent and well-researched compounds that actually improve your mental performance, increase your energy levels, reduce stress and can improve your overall well-being and health. So without any doubt, this is a safer and much better alternative to coffee. And the last thing I really like about Beyond Caffeine is its taste. Now, funny enough, that's also one thing that I don't like about Beyond Caffeine. Let me explain. So when I first tried Beyond Caffeine, I was literally impressed because I didn't expect such a good taste of this drink. Sadly, blended mushrooms and adaptogens can have quite a bitter taste, but this one tastes quite sweet and it smells good. It even comes in three different tastes at the moment, hot chocolate, salted caramel 
and my favorite peanut brittle. Even though Beyond Caffeine tastes much better than I expected, it is, in my opinion, way too sweet for me. Now, I personally avoid all the sugar most of the time and I don't consume any sweeteners either, so maybe I'm not the right person to talk to about the sweetness, but still, I think that many people will find this taste a bit too sweet and artificial. It's not terrible, but this can definitely be improved. By the way guys, if you like this video, please press the like button below. Now, if this is such a great coffee alternative, why would anyone drink coffee, which is addictive, ever again? Well, the idea of Beyond Caffeine is not to take your morning cup of coffee away, but to present an alternative to your afternoon cup of coffee. And I think that's the right way to go, because the effects of Beyond Caffeine are not as strong as those of coffee. Personally, I've drank Beyond Caffeine in the morning many times and I loved it, but it doesn't give an equally strong kick as a cup of coffee. So my experience was the following. When I drank it in the morning, I had a boost that lasted for about two to three hours, but it was less effective than coffee. So for me, that was great because coffee makes me nervous, unlike Beyond Caffeine. On the other hand, when I drank it in the afternoon, I got exactly the same effects, but I liked it even more. Because in the morning, after we expose ourselves to bright light and we properly wake up, we have lots of energy. In the afternoon, we naturally get more tired, so such a natural booster works even better then. Now, the formula of Beyond Caffeine is actually really good. It's a potent nootropic, but it is not perfect. There are ways to optimize it, like, for example, reduce the amount of Bacopa Muneri, since such a high amount of Bacopa can reduce your motivation, but I'll leave this to the brand. Now, it dissolves pretty well, especially in hot water and plant-based milk, so it's really easy to prepare it. By the way, guys, are you searching for the best nootropics for your individual needs? If yes, go for a free brain assessment, link below, and get a personalized recommendation for the best nootropics. Since Beyond Caffeine is healthier than coffee, it boosts mental performance, it provides multiple benefits that coffee cannot, and it doesn't come with any side effects, it must be way more expensive, right? Well, no, not really. A package of 25 dosages for 25 days costs about 80 Australian dollars. Yes, this is an Australian company, but they ship to the US and to most other countries. So 80 Australian dollars equals to about 55 American dollars. So a daily dosage costs you just over $2, which is, I think, way cheaper than coffee in your favorite Starbucks. Now, all of that sounds really good, but there must be a cat somewhere, right? Well, let's look at the pros and cons. The main pros of Beyond Caffeine are, it's a caffeine-free energizer, it improves your mental performance, unlike coffee, it doesn't cause any side effects, you can drink it in the afternoon, it tastes pretty good, it's relatively affordable, and it can improve your overall health and well-being. How about the cons? Well, the taste can be improved. As I said, this current taste is too sweet. The formula could be further optimized, especially for people who would want to drink it in the morning, like myself. It does contain lots of nootropics and vitamins, which you may not need. And of course, it's not super cheap. And that's about it. So, is Beyond Caffeine a proper coffee alternative? Well, it boosts your energy, it boosts mental performance, it doesn't cause jittery, it doesn't ruin your sleep, it is healthy, and it's definitely drinkable. So if you care about your sleep, if you don't like coffee, if you search for a caffeine-free brain booster, or if you're sensitive to coffee, you should definitely give Beyond Caffeine a try. Now there's a link below if you want to order it right away. And if you're searching for a potent brain booster in capsule form, check my review of Qualia Mind, my favorite nootropic stack. Thank you guys for watching this and I hope to see you soon again. Stay well.